Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today we're going to do a little catching up on Sneak Peek 1, and we also got a Sneak Peek 2 today. I got a hand to do Net Marble. They threw a monkey wrench into this, uh, these Sneak Peeks, you know. We get this first one, um, and yeah, you know, first they're showing us the Warriors of the Sky, which... You know, I was, I was really excited about guys, and I still am, but, you know, they didn't say anything about it for a long time, so I kind of like, okay, and then now they're bringing it up, and, you know, let's go ahead and watch this video and see what's up with it. So, pretty cool music. There's Shadow Shell. There's War Tiger, Blue Dragon, and... Sunbird. All these characters look freaking awesome, man. The Sky Kieran looks pretty cool, but um, especially now that we got this sneak peek too, I'm really interested to see what we're actually going to get, you know, in this update because we know these characters are coming and I think they look amazing and I'm really excited about it, but we're also getting something else, which... Like I said, really threw me for a loop. I was kind of like, what? where is this coming from? So let's go into uh, Sneak Peek 2. Let's share this for you. Go ahead and read this. This is CM Fragment of Marvel Future Fight Team. We have proven that time travel is possible and that multiverse exists. So doing surveillance to monitor these new spaces is becoming more and more vital. That is why we put a call out for those willing to take this risk of exploring for the greater good. The results of the recruitment yielded three characters who are willing to risk their lives. They are the first characters that you met in Marvel Future Fight. The first characters that we met in Marvel Future Fight. And if you watch this, check this out guys. So there we see Iron Man, Black Widow, and Captain America. Say what? Now, <laughs> I really... Like, this is cool and all, and I'm I'm excited for it, but, I mean, I don't really know what to think about it. You know, we got the Warriors of the Sky, we have the trio here, I mean, they are they given, I guess they're given new uniforms for all three of these characters, and Black Widow's got a movie coming out really soon, so, I don't, it's kind of weird, right? But, at the same time... It's, it's kind of nice because, you know, here we have the Warriors of the Sky who are not popular characters at all, especially among the Marvel Future Fight fans, uh, or Marvel fans, you know, they don't, you know, we don't know these characters. Now, I'm personally excited about them, I know a lot of people aren't, and that's completely fine. If you're not excited about the Warriors of the Sky, I totally understand. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion and the way they perceive things, and if you don't like it, that's completely fine. I totally understand the argument about, hey, we want our beloved characters in Marvel to get focused on. We got a lot of trash characters in the game, and they need to be fixed first before we get in all these new characters. And I totally understand that. You know, I think it's a uh, kind of crap when people insinuate that other people are racist just because they don't like uh, these new characters that are coming in. I don't think people are being racist at all. You know, oh, there might be a small majority that might be that way. But I think most of the people, they just want to see their beloved, established characters in Marvel get boosted up. So I, I completely sympathize with that idea. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But, but at the same time, I'm still excited for new characters. I think they look amazing. And as far as the uniforms, you know, Iron Man, Black Widow, and Captain America, I mean, Black Widow definitely needs a uniform but she's got the movie so hopefully this uniform that she gets will be a synergy uniform and in all honesty it'd really be awesome if captain america and iron man if they're getting a uniform if that would be a synergy uniform but we really don't know i mean i don't i mean i assume they're going to get new uniforms but it's hard to say so in light of this little update guys we are going to do a little gameplay with good old Captain America and you guys may be really surprised by what you're gonna see this old boy do man Cat really is freaking awesome uh, pretty crazy especially after you see this build now the builds really good except for one thing and I'll show you guys that in a second he has 39,000 physical attack he has max attack speed 43 crit rate 163 critical damage pretty low stats guys and he has well he's gonna get max ignore defense from his fifth skill 
He also has max skill cooldown and the leadership tag, which we will not be using. Matter of fact, we won't be using anything at all except for strikers with Captain America. He has all 5-star Urus. I definitely could beef this guy up, but honestly, after what you're going to see today, I kind of wonder if I really even need to, but I do love Cap, so I probably will. I mean, I do have the resources, and I definitely have the gold. An abundance of that crap. Uh, all of his skills are at level 6. He has a fully awakened Power Bank Rehawk set. And this is the thing, guys. He doesn't have a damage proc. He did have a CTP of Rage, and I took that off of him a while back because I was trying it out on other characters. Uh, because I really just wasn't playing Cap that much, even though he is amazing. I love Captain America. He's freaking awesome. But I was just using other characters. But he, the thing about Cap is... He's just, I mean, even without this damage proc, guys, with the striker situation, he can tear it up. He also has a mythic uniform. So let's go into the world boss. And you guys know that I'm trying to push uh, Apocalypse right now. So we're going to go to the highest stage of Apocalypse that we have available. And that will be 58. Yeah, 58. And by the way, guys, when I get to 59, I will pay the crystals to move on. You know, I'm a pretty impatient person. I don't like waiting, so I just kind of just skipping all that crap. But you can definitely do the 100 second clears and all that stuff. Definitely at this point, no problem. If you guys want to see that, I can definitely show you that. So let's do 58. And we're just going to throw in Cap in the leadership. He's not going to get Jack, guys. All he's going to get is extra HP. We're just going to put Jessica in there. And Kingpin in there, just for fun. They're not offering Jack. Now, we're going to throw in some Strikers. We're going to put in Thanos and Silver Surfer. We're going to put Weapon Hex in there, Scarlet, and Sue. And you definitely want to have Scarlet, guys, because like I said in the last video, APOC is extremely difficult, a lot of effects to deal with, and just having that crowd control just makes the world a difference. But this video is actually going to show just how broken the striker thing is. Because we're going to use a character that doesn't have a damage proc. Doesn't have any extra attack buffs. No support characters. Nothing. And he's going to be able to get it done. So watch this guys. This is crazy. I'm so confident in this that I know we're going to do this in the first try. Watch this guy. Come on. And the beautiful thing about not having a damage proc is we don't have to worry about timing anything. And there we go. Dun, 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 dun. There's Scarlet. I was wondering when she was going to come in. There's a little damage. There we go. And we're not going to use the tier 3 either, guys. We don't need that stinking tier 3. And it, this is something that's nice about the whole striker situation, I'm not going to lie, is that you don't have to use Cap's annoying tier 3. I mean, I love Captain America, guys, but that tier 3 is freaking annoying to use. That thing can get canceled so easy. And if you was in here facing APOC and you didn't have Scarlet or some kind of crowd control, oh my god, you can almost guarantee that thing would get canceled. But look at him go. Look at him go. No proc. We are just tearing it up. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> this is sweet. I mean, easy peasy, guys. I honestly, I mean, I seriously, when I was testing this before I was making this video, I honestly thought I would need some kind of extra support. Something, you know, like a, a leadership, you know, something. But as you can see... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need it at all. In fact, we could go higher than this. Look at this crazy crap. Look at this. And it definitely looks like if Scarlet is mind controlling the whole time, that APOC won't go into that phase where it's all black and you're just doing missing attacks to him. So that's pretty cool. Which means you're dealing more damage to old boy. I mean, this is really sweet, man. This is sweet. I'm loving this. Look at this, guys. Look at Cap go. We got just a little over... T We're doing almost going to do this in almost two minutes. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Look at that, guys. 
just a little over two minutes, just Captain America and these strikers. So it shows how broken the striker thing is, but it, at the same time, it shows how awesome Captain America is. Do we get a combat book? Of course not. I mean, it's pretty freaking cool. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.